Father God, in the name of Jesus, as we come before you now in your son Jesus, in the name of your son Jesus, before your people, God, in the name of your son Jesus. God, we ask that you take this word now, God, in the name of Jesus. Help me to deliver it, God, in your son Jesus' name. God, in the name of Jesus, I, I ask for your prayers and your help right now in the name of Jesus. God, I ask to deliver your word with power, God, in the name of Jesus. That your people be filled in Jesus' name. That they may go out, God, and spread your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I feel a song on my heart. I'm a soldier. Anybody else a soldier? Yes. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. I'm a soldier.
In scripture, we will find several references to the Christian as being a soldier in warfare. Now I need you to go to Ephesians chapter 6. And read verses 12 and verses 13. You gotta know what we're fighting against. For we wrestle Eight. not against flesh and blood. We're not wrestling against flesh and blood, y'all. We're not wrestling against one another. We're not supposed to be in nowhere in that arena. Come on. But against principalities. Of principalities. Against powers. Powers. Against rulers of the darkness of this rulers world. Rulers of the darkness of this world. Mm -hmm. Against spiritual wickedness. Yes. In high places. Yes. Now, if we're going against all of this, and he's given us a word of knowledge, saying that it's not against flesh and blood, right? So we got all these things we're coming up against. And he says something else in verse 13. Come on. Wherefore, take unto you the whole. This is what you need to do now. The whole, the whole armor the of God. Take whole. unto you what? The whole the armor whole of God. The whole armor. You cannot go anywhere half cock. My God. Even though the Sam won't let you go half cock. Right. God surely not going to do that, right? Come on, the whole armor. That ye may be able to withstand. That you may be able. You've got to put it all on so that you can be able to what? Withstand. In the evil day. In the evil day. And having done all. And having done all. To stand. To stand. Listen to me. The battle is not ours. Amen. First thing we got to know. The battle is not ours. But the words say it's the battle the is the Lord's. It says, but it's the Lord's. Amen. We tend to be uh, so ready to go out and fight our own battles. We tend to not want to wait on God. We just want to take care of the situation ourselves. But we, if we realize that one thing, it's not ours. All we have to do is look up and say, God, it's yours. God, take care of that for me. Do that for me. The battle is not ours. We are called upon to be God's angels on this earth to press forward with God proclaiming victory through Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. We have been given our marching orders by the captain of those. Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes. Praise Amen. Just in case we need uh, 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 some word on that, give me Matthew 28, 19 through 20. Hurry up. Bible scholars. Matthew. I need practice in that too. Go ye therefore, uh -huh. and teach all nations, uh -huh. baptizing them in the name of the Father, uh -huh. and of the Son, uh -huh. and of the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. That's our job. Was that 19 and 20? No. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever uh -huh. I have commanded you, uh -huh. and lo, I am with you always, even <laughs> unto the end of the world. Amen. What the main thing I got out of there? Go and teach somebody. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. We don't supposed to sit here and get it all and don't go somewhere and tell somebody. Teach somebody. Tell them what you got out of it. Right. That's why the churches are half empty. Every last one of them just about half empty. Because ain't nobody going out. The preacher can't do it all. Jesus. But we'll sit around these four walls and look at each other every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Somebody got to go tell it. And if you're waiting on me, Bishop, we still can't do it all. Amen. Very Praise true. the Lord. Three types of soldiers, you all. Amen. There are compromisers, there are quitters, and there are the faithful. Amen. Now, the compromisers, they rationalize position rather than take a definite stand. They like to rationalize. Those are the compromisers. All right? The quitters, you already know. Huh? They can't take the heat, so they get out of the kitchen. They can't stand the battle. Amen. So they quit. Mm. Then we have the faithful. To the faithful, there is no assignment that's too tough. Mm. And there's no battle that's too fearful to the faithful. The good soldier has an identity. Mm. What's yours? Mm. He has a uniform that he wears. Mm. Mm. And now by looking at a soldier's uniform, you can determine a number of things about the soldier. You take your time out and brush some of the different ones. You got the army, you got the navy, you got, you know, marines, you got all these, right? 
But by looking at them, you know what branch of service they're in. Is that not right? right. You know their job duty. Right. You can also tell how long they've been serving. Yes. Now, in similar manner, a good soldier fights can be identified readily. All right, all right, now, all right. We are to put on Christ. Yeah. Galatians 3 27. For as many of you as have been baptized into mm, Christ have put on Christ. Yes. Huh? That means that when others see us, they see Christ. Yes. How are people seeing when they see you? Lord, help, help us, help us, help us. Help us, God. Some of us showing up some bad things to say that we're Christians. To say that we're committed. My God. To say that we're soldiers. We're sending out some bad signals, baby. Lord, Lord. That means when others see us, they have to or they need to see Christ. Amen. Mm, Sometimes you ought to take a test. Ask one of your friends, you know what? Can I ask you a question? To be honest with me, if I ask you this question, what do you see when you look at me? Huh? You might be amazed at some of the answers us as Christians might get. Huh? But that's the thing that will help us out. Hmm? Ephesians 4, 24, and that he put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. There's a new man supposed to take over. Yes. Right. yes. Oh, that, yes. Man, that, that house is not supposed to remain the same. There's a new man that's supposed to take over. Yes. That means he don't want to do the things he used to do. Right. Right. <laughs> the longer we serve him, the more like him we should be. Yes. Amen. So uh, if you've been in church, that, that's it. That's it. Stop from us. Let's just start from the beginning of vision. If you've been in, in, in vision 16 years, hmm? y'all, some of y'all really need to look at this. If you've been in vision 16 years and you still battling some of the same old issues, some of the same Lord, old parties, the same old devil, something is wrong. Yeah. Well, I'm here to tell you there ain't nothing wrong with the word. Amen. So what that tell you? Lord, my God. A soldier. My God. It's tight. In his, right. yes, Lord. Yes. his orders, his orders, his orders. A soldier's orders determine where he lives and how he spends his time. Amen. When we went in, they gave us a certain a certain order to where we had to be. Yes. Wasn't in the same places. What was your first place of, of our duty was? Uh, where, where first you went? No, just you. Okay, first his first place of duty. Right? Now, when you got to Fort Jackson, there was certain things, there was a certain way you had to do, certain things you had to do, right? There was training. So now, a soldier orders determine where he lives, mm -hmm. how he spends his time. There are certain things that they do in Fort, where did you say? Fort, Fort Jackson. Fort Jackson that they may not do in Fort Benny. Okay. Huh? Basic Fort Jackson was basic training. Uh -huh. Come on now. All right? Not just a list of things to do if we have time or if we like to do them. This is not what this is all about. Mm. Orders are given to be obeyed. Right. That's right. right. Stand in the position as your pastor. Yes. yes. My husband stands in position as your bishop. Amen. As your pastor, I need to report to the bishop. Yes. Sir, yes, sir. Line it up. What would you have me to do? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes. But then bishop got a head and I got another. Come on. Amen. He has to report to him. I have to report to him too. Yes, Amen. yes. Orders are given to be obeyed. Yes. Mother said something to me a few Sundays. I'm not sure it was last Sunday, but she said something to me after church. She said, Can I say this to you? I said, Yes, ma'am. She said, You are in authority. She said, You won't ask nobody to do it. You tell them to do it. Amen. I thought about that thing. Amen. And it hit me real heavy this morning. I said, Lord, what you say? Instead of going right and talking about with y'all, sing me another song. I pray, see, I need y'all to sing me another song. Amen. Don't tell me you ain't got no song ready, because you're supposed to be prepared for battle. Amen. At all times, you need to be ready. Amen. Just because you practice two songs, three songs, it might be four, five. Oh, my God. Huh? Well, and I said, pray, see, give me another song. I need another song. Amen. Huh? Amen. Yes. Right Jesus. Tell you, I'm learning something. Thank you, mother. Amen. Come on, Bishop. Bishop, Bishop won't come here. Look at Come on, Bishop. Right there with Pastor Pat. Now, watch this right here. Yes, sir. Because when you hesitate yes, sir. Yes, sir. to give that song that is needed, come on. you allow the enemy now to really knock you down. Yes, sir. Come on. 
See, because you was unprepared, so now he's, he can come and he can get you, he can hit you now. Yes, see, see, before the fiery dart was not able to penetrate. Yes, but because you was unprepared, now the dart can actually penetrate you. Yes, sir. Yeah. See? Yeah. And he's telling you to be prepared. Mm -hmm. So when orders are given, when the pastor or the bishop give an order, Amen. let's come out of all this area if you want to do it. Could you do this for me if you... You're, I said that a few days ago. I said, I told somebody, I said, could y'all do this for me? And I should have said, this is what I want you to do. Amen. Now, I'm going to stop uh, keeping people out of trouble. All right. I'm going to stop saying, uh, this is what I need you to do. This is what I want you to do. Now, if you don't do it, you got your own self in trouble. Because the word says, what? Obey them that have what over you? The rule over you. So if I'm in that position, you ought to be uh, able or willing, or willing to put it like they're willing to obey. Amen. I'm not telling you to do something that's going to hurt you or me. Right, right, right. If I do that, God got me. Amen. And I ain't going to get in trouble for nobody. Amen. Huh? Amen. As believers, we must understand that what the Lord commands us to do in His Word are not suggestions. They are our responsibility to perform them. Right. Amen. So if I ask you, I ain't going to ask you no, I'm going to tell them, this, this, is what I, this is what I want you to do. Yeah. If you don't do it, it's out of my hands. See, I, I feel like I got sick and tired now. Oh, yeah. Sick and tired of asking folks. It's about time. Huh? I'm sick and tired of asking folks. Baby, this is what I want you to do right now. I want you to go do this. Amen. And when you don't do it, I'm just going to go to the next one. And you just miss your blessing. Amen. That's the way that's going to go. Now. Amen. Huh? Amen. We do it out of love for our Lord. Not for any other reason. You got to be in this thing for the love of God. Yes, Amen. yes. You come in here for any other reason, you ain't gonna make it. I'm gonna tell you right now, you ain't gonna make it. Lord, yes. that might not be proper English, but you ain't gonna make it. Mm -hmm. Somebody don't want, don't, they don't, they need, they need a proper English. Mm -hmm. You ain't gonna make it. Oh now, his experience as a soldier, look at a soldier's chest, and you can read where he has been and how he has served. Mm -hmm. We call it fruit salad, but it, its ribbons and its melons and its bars indicate various things, various awards, the things that he has participated in. And the more action, the more fruit set. Yeah. Huh? The yeah. more action, the more medals and all this stuff he has caught his chest. Yes. Huh? Yeah. There's another less enjoyable way, and that is to look for the scars from battle. My God. Yeah. Some of them soldiers come home scarred up, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. Some of them come home with limbs missing, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Our experiences in serving the Lord may bring us some reward or it may bring us some scars. Yeah. Sometimes when you're going through battle, it's going to bring some scars. Mm -hmm. Huh? But it will identify us as sudden in his army doing his will. Yes. Ever going through him. Yes, yes. He got some scars physically. Yes. And he probably got a few right now spiritually. Yes. Huh? But he's a soldier. I believe that about him. Yes. He's a man of God. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Whew. The attributes of a good soldier. A good soldier endures hardness, number one. Paul. Toughened through hard experiences. Paul was toughened through hard experiences. You and I are going to be toughened through hard experiences. Some things that seem like they ought to tear us down, knock us down, kill us even. We're going to be toughened through those things. Yes. Yes. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Wait a we, you, we often go back, Bishop and I, to times that we didn't have a place to live. We was toughened through that thing. Yeah, huh? Somebody got to know how to come through. Huh? If they wind up in a place, huh? But they don't have nowhere to live. Amen. Somebody's gonna have to know that God will provide. Yes. He said He will. Yes. He said He'd never leave me, nor would He forsake me. He said He would provide me a roof over my head, food on the table, and clothes on my back. Those are my needs. Yes. He said, I'll supply all your needs. Yes. And some of the desires of your heart. Amen. What a God. Yes. Hmm? Yeah. Paul was toughened through hard experiences. Yeah. It was predicted of him that he would go through these things. In Acts 19, 16, for I will show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. Yeah. When you suffer, you suffer for the name of Christ. Yeah. And it started as soon as he was converted. Some folks think that as soon as you get converted, everything all right. I think we heard a preacher say that the other night, didn't we? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Soon as you converted, everything all right. But Acts 9, 23 through 24, and after that, he says, after he was converted, and after that, many days were fulfilled. The Jews took counsel to kill him. 
But they laid away was known of Saul and they watched the gates day and night to kill Paul. Hmm? He spent three lonely years on the backside of the desert for the sake of Christ. He was stoned, shipwrecked, beaten, placed in dungeons for the sake of Christ. Amen. And at the end, he called it light affliction. Can you can you oh, Through all of that, Paul called it light affliction. Light. Oh, God. Second Corinthians 4.17, for our light afflictions, he says, which is but for a moment, working for us a far more exceeding and eternal way of glory. That thing working for us. God. He declared that he has fought a good fight. I want to say that one day. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I fought a good fight. Yes. Second Timothy 4, 7, he said, I fought a good fight. I have finished my course and I have kept the faith. Yes. Kept the same. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. See, the Paul as his example, Timothy had determined to be faithful no matter what. Timothy had a good example, didn't he? Yes. Paul. Yes. Somebody watching you and I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? And, and we don't even know they they want to uh, pattern us, yeah. huh? Yeah. So you got to be careful how you live your life as a Christian. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody got their eyes on you, and somebody might want to be just like you. Yeah. Now, maybe I better say it this way: somebody want to be just like the Christ in you. Amen. Yeah. I don't want nobody walking walking around here thinking, you know, yeah. that I ain't about all that. I ain't trying to. Be. I'm yeah. just trying to preach the word. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So now Timothy had determined to be faithful no matter what. Have you determined to be faithful no matter what? That's another good question. Amen. It is. Amen. Some folks ain't got to that point to that they really want to commit. And when I say commit, I mean fully commit. Yeah. They come back close to the door. Close to the fire. They don't get they don't, you know, they don't get too close to it. Hmm? They don't want to get all the way into fully committed. Because they know that when they go all the way into fully committing, that some things got to change. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. There's some stuff yeah. that got to come off. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. God can put some new stuff on you. They don't want to do that yet. They say, yet. I ain't ready for that yet. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Say it. But one of our better known is gone. Amen. But I heard such a good report. Yeah. Hallelujah. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. My ears were enlightened yeah. to all of the goodness. Yeah. Oh, glory to God. Praise yeah. God. You better watch where you're stepping. Because oh, yes. time is not on your side. Yes. Any day. Yes. None of us. Oh, my God. Huh? Amen. Any day. We see it in action, haven't we? Yes. Yes. How we see it. We just couldn't believe it. Yes. It just didn't seem like it was supposed to be. But it is. Oh, my God. But it is. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes. Time to be playing now. Right. Yes. It's time to make a decision. Yes. 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 Today we have Jesus. the fighters that first hear of adversity. Soon as trouble starts coming up, they fall out. They fall out. Soon a little trouble comes their way, they fall out. Mm -hmm. I can't do that. I can't take it. I this. I that. They don't forget about the, the man on the inside. Lord, man. Huh? Many call criticism adversity and milk under it. Mm -hmm. Paul would have called us raw recruits and rebuked us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I'm glad we're not on the Paul right now. Huh? <laughs> During World War II, listen to this. It, was, it says there was a tough sergeant caught, caught a young private. He said he caught him reading a New Testament Bible while he was down in the trench. <laughs> So now the sergeant got mad and he hollered at the, at, the, at the young man. He said, put that thing away. He said, I don't want no scissors in my outfit. And the third goal and he said, shortly afterwards, he said, a motor hit the trench. Said so the young private took his body, died over the motor, gave up his life for the others that was in the trench with him. He said, then the sergeant ordered New Testaments for all of his men, yeah. saying if that book could give this kind of huh, protection, uh -huh. If it can give this kind of courage yeah. to that young man, maybe it will give it to the rest of his buddies. Oh, right. wow. how, how many know that sometimes, look, I'm going to say like, somebody had to die. Yes. Yes. For us to live. Yes. Yes. Huh? Somebody had to go through. Man. For us to be where we are today. Yes. Yes. Somebody went through some hardships. Oh, huh? yes. For us to be where we are today. Man. If we want to, we can go all the way back to the Bible, they can come all the way to the house. The pre-trials. Yeah. 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 You think about it, Jesus did it. Yeah. Yeah. Come on down the road, others, 
Uncle. I get to my Paul was doing some things. Amen. Coming up the road until now, today, we look back and we see that, what's his name? King. Yes. Martin Luther King died. Yes, yes. For civil rights. Yes. Things that we would never have been able to touch had he not gave his life. Yes. Yes. So people are dying for us. And we treat it so nonchalantly. My Lord. Yeah. Huh? We treat Jesus' death so nonchalantly. Lord, we Lord, need to put Lord. that thing in our mind, but God did this for me. Yeah. Yeah. And here I am right here, tip it toe, tell me, tell me, I ain't ready. Come on. I get saved. Picking us a day that we think we want to be saved. Huh? Tell me, I ain't ready. You ain't going to never be ready. Right. Huh? As long as you live, you ain't going to never be ready. Because you go all the time, well, soon as I stop drinking, soon as I stop smoking, I'm going to stop this and I'm, I'm going to stop this. Come on. If you done been in this world 37 to 40 years and you ain't stopped some of that mess yet, I hey, you, you might need to go on and give it to Jesus. Huh? Seems like you ought to try something new. A good soldier enlists others. He is proud of his outfit. X company 350. I'm going to talk about vision now. Good soldier's in vision. We, if we really get so committed to the cause, uh, we're going to go out and we're going to recruit. We talk about them Jehovah's Witnesses bad, don't we? But one thing I like about Jehovah's Witnesses, they do just what their names say. They go out and they witness about Jehovah's Come on. And we as Christians don't talk about them so bad. We ain't hardly doing nothing. Amen. Lord, Lord. But the recruiters are not men who hate the service. They are the lifers, the ones who hang around and stay around. Andrew went to recruit Peter, remember? And Philip brought Nathan. Uh -huh. So when you, when you get like when you get into this thing, you're supposed to go get somebody and bring them. Right. Everybody ain't gonna just come to the church because you say, "Come go to the church with me, Daniel." I gotta go to the house and look. I'm coming to pick you up in the morning. Yeah. Hey, I'm coming to pick you up. Then I'm coming to pick you up Thursday night. I want you to be ready. I want you to be ready. And come go with me. How many of us been doing that lately? Huh? Oh, God. Good question, wasn't it? Yes, yes. What are we doing for the cause of Christ? Are we recruiting, are we recruiting others? Are we just satisfied with our, our little old self? Being saved, satisfied, and whatever. Huh? Soul winning, soul winning, inviting folks, bringing others. That's a work. Huh? For the believers in Christ. A good soldier will not collaborate with the enemy. But you look like going to collaborate. Every time you see me, you see him, him and he ain't nothing about saved. It shouldn't be so, you shouldn't be so close. Now, I can see that night when you're led, when you're led to go to your, you know, you still got a friend out there, if you really want them saved, you go to him and talk to him. You heard my sister-in-law testify about that, didn't you? Yes. She said, my sister-in-law came and got me. Sure did. Because I liked it. I, I, you know, I enjoyed it. I, I wanted her to feel what I was feeling. Yeah. And I kept telling her, I kept going. She kept on taking She kept on taking every time along. She's going to offer me a drink. I said, no, that's not right. I ain't want to come for her. So you got to be persistent Man. to gain a brother or sister in the Christ. Hmm? A good soldier will not collaborate with the enemy. The world hates the Christian. John 15, 18, if the world hates you, you know that it hated me, hated me before it hated you. First John 3, 13, marvel not my brother, if the world hate you. Don't get all, don't be all no. messing up about it, surprised by it, none of that. Because right. right. they hated me, they hated Jesus. That's right. That's right. Huh? So that shouldn't get to you. <laughs> if they hated Jesus, that's going to hate me, because Jesus was, uh, was about who? whose business? He was about his father's business. Father, right? So yeah. naturally they're going to hate us. In, I heard a white lady say the other day, yesterday was that bishop, we stopped by to get a towel in the car. She said, she stopped by holding on us. <laughs> they say, yeah, they ain't using alone at that time in a while, but they show sure used to do it a lot. And he said, yeah, I'll show, I'm going to hold it over. If they, what they want to call me, I'll steal it. A good soldier cannot fight the enemy during the day and then go party with them by night. Oh, my goodness. Woo! That's a rough one, ain't it? You can't talk, you can't fight with the enemy during the daytime and then you want to go party with them at night. That don't work like that. Sorry, it just don't work like that. Baby, mm -hmm. say the song, say, what that song say? It's got to be black or what? Black or white? Black, it don't work like that. It's got to be black or white. Help me there, somebody. No gray, no shade. No, hey. No gray. So, it don't sense y'all come out, you know me, I'm in the middle. 
Amen. Ain't no middle ground, baby. No, it's it's either one side or the other. Amen. How you, you got to make a choice between one or the other. And I was in this world for, I think about 30, before we got to church. We was in our 30s. We was in our 30s. I didn't got to this world for 30 some odd years. Not realizing and recognizing that it was God that was keeping me all that time. Huh? And when it finally hit me one night in one of the services, I couldn't do much but thank God. Because we had gotten into so many situations that we could have been dead, actually. We really could have been dead. Amen. I Amen. really mean that. All right? So I'm here all that time. But when I got Jesus, a new day, yes. a new life, yes. a new way of walking, yes. a new way of talking, yes. didn't think the same, didn't feel the same, felt brand new. Amen. And what did I do about it? I went out and told my sister-in-law and anybody else that I could tell. I got a friend now that, you, uh, that I... Go by often, not well, no, and I go by as often as the Spirit leads me. Yeah. Let me say that right. And I really want her saved. I want her in church. So a lot of times when he don't sin, I'm praying. I think about her very often. Hallelujah. Thanks. A good soul can't fight the enemy in the daytime. Amen. And they don't party every night. They don't work that way. In preparation for the fight, the training is taught to despise the enemy and be ready to fight him on every hand and at every opportunity. Every chance you get to slap that devil's side of the head, slap him, baby. Every time you get to stop him, stop him. Amen. And feel good about it. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, that's how I make you. Oh, hey, hey. hey. Feel good about snapping him and stop him. Amen. Thankfulness earns the approval and the accommodation of our Lord. Hmm? Moreover, it says in 1 Corinthians 4 2, moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful, baby. I said that a man be found faithful. It's my baby right home. Yes. And one day I found him to be, one day I see it. It wasn't all like that. But one day I found him to be faithful. Praise the Lord. Honey, Amen. and I, it made me feel so good. Amen. Until I told him one day, you ain't never got to worry about me. Hallelujah. Because you're all the man I want. You're Come all on. the man I need. And every, I don't care. I don't see them look at me. Amen. But then when I turn around and look at, look at this one. Oh, baby, he tops them all to me. That's my opinion of mine. Hallelujah. Faithfulness calls for something. It calls for you to let go some things. Now, sometimes I have to, if my eyesight get a little weird, huh? I close my eyes and say, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Because when I am, he is so good to me. God, you gave me a, oh, good man. I'm so glad when he came and found me. Hallelujah. I am his pearl. Yes, I am. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Yeah, don't talk to women's mind, and he'll talk to men's mind. That's right. I don't know why, but I got to go ahead on through there. That's right. Huh? I got to go through there. Amen. So faithfulness is a thing that we all need. Yes. As friends. Yes. As church sisters and brothers, yes. we need to be faithful to one another. Yes. Yes. And you got to be faithful to God and Christ. Yes. Faithfulness is something that you got to really pick up and really want. Yes. It can't be no, I think I want to be. No, no. Oh, I'm trying to be. It can't be none of that. It's got to be this. I make a decision. That's what I want to be. That's what I'm going to be. Yes. God, help me because that's what I want to be. That's right. Yes. Mm? Help me, Lord. Name it, claim it. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm. Jesus. Amen. Good. Mm -hmm. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening to God and choosing me. Hey. Hallelujah. Thank you. And I love you. I love you. I love you. I love my husband. You got to tell him you love him sometimes. Sometimes you it ain't all about uh, talking to him. You got to tell him and then show them. Do you want to know I show him? And not, maybe not as much as... But I show him in, uh, in different ways that I love him. You got to show them in different ways that you love them. You can't just say it out your mouth. Amen. That ain't good enough. Amen. It ain't good enough for God. It ain't good enough for Jesus. It ain't good enough for me. Amen. But when he showed me he loved me, by the little things he does. It ain't got to be nothing big. It ain't got to be all oh, like this thing and that thing. Baby, if he come in that door and say, baby, I want that mystery today. Talk about yes. it. Huh? Yeah. I mean, by the time he's come in that door, I'd run to the door to me. I'd say, mm -hmm. Amen. So you gotta make it. 
kings. Thank you, Lord. We get a little laugh. We get a little aggravated with it sometimes. Okay. Well, I tell you what, I ain't doing nothing. He ain't getting busy. He ain't getting dead. This and that and that and that. I tell you what, it's a queen I got somewhere waiting. All right. It's a queen waiting for now. What's the thing got to get? What the fuck? Esther. 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 Before Esther. we got the king. Esther. Huh? Esther. Queen Esther. That's right. King called her. He wanted to show her off, baby. He wanted to show off his queen. She over there having a little party and her little thing. Yeah, told them she wasn't coming. That's right. Oh, that made the king angry. Yeah. That made him upset because he wanted to show off his queen. That's right. I tell you what, it's another queen waiting. Mm -hmm. You don't act right. right. Don't do right. It's a queen out there with a, that will snatch your king, baby, right. and treat right. him like he's supposed to be treated. Right. And like he won't be treated. All right. I'm telling you something today. Hollywood, the same yeah. thing go for the king. <laughs> If you don't treat that girl like she's a queen, baby, and sometimes you might have to shower them in love sometimes. Oh, so, yeah. see, women, just like this, say, women are emotional. Yes, we are. So, if we're emotional and you know that you can get us through our emotions, some flowers, some candy, call them folks and say, babe, I don't want you to cook tonight. I want you to be ready. I want you to take you out to dinner. Oh, oh. Baby, I just was thinking about you. I just had to come see you. Give me some sugar. Yeah. Get a tip with you. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm Go trying ahead. to tell you something. Yes. It takes things like that to win them and keep them. Yes. Huh? Yes. There's another another snake. I'm calling it a snake. Another snake ain't got no way in. If you don't provide no way in, they can't come in. Baby. Amen. So you got to not provide a way in. Huh? Right. Sometimes men, we've got to open their mouths to one another. Yes. Sometimes bitch, he's stern sometimes, y'all. And I don't like it, but you know what? Right is right. All right. Yes. So he's stern sometimes. He say, well, baby, you know you ain't been caring for me. You know, y'all know what I'm talking about. I ain't got to go over there. Bless you haven't been caring. You know my need. Uh -huh. Before I let another woman come and take care of his need. Hallelujah. Amen. Ooh. Come on Praise now. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Huh? I don't even care if I'm upset with him. I don't care if I'm upset with him. I'm not going to deprive him. Do you hear what I said? I'm not going to deprive him. I'm not going to deprive him. Somebody don't hear me? I'm not going to deprive him. I don't care how upset I am because I know that's the thing that the enemy wants me to do. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I wasn't blessed to be with this man for. 37 years that night. Oh, my baby, 20 years. 37 baby, my wife. I, I go by her, her age. So, uh, yeah. we 37. She's 31? Six. So, we're a year older than her. In marriage. And that's what I try to go by. So, I can keep her age. I can keep her without her. But, 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 but I'm, I'm serious. I'm so serious today. I don't know why God let me that way, but I believe it's a good thing. I'm, I'm going to try to move on. I'm, I'm there in the end right now. <laughs> Faithfulness earns the approval and accommodation of our Lord. All right, a good soldier believes in the cause. Our cause is not some noble person. It is the person of Jesus Christ. The cause. Good soldiers get psyched up for battle. That's right. I said they get psyched up. Yes, we do. Uh, yes, they we get do. psyched up. They're going to think about all the, uh, the evilness of the devil. They get psyched up that. But I tell you something. Hey, y'all, let's go to fast. Let's go to corporate fast. Let's do a corporate fast. Let's do that, y'all. Yeah. Let's do that. Come on, y'all. We got to get together. Let's do that, y'all. Let's go against that joke right now. Yeah. Huh? Oh, they good. Yeah. Mm, we got to get psyched up for that. Because we know that there is one. Many battle leaders are successful because they know how to motivate their men. Anybody ever seen Braveheart 3? That man knew how to, he knew how to, right? To motivate them, them, them guys to follow him. Huh? He got up there and he said the right thing. Huh? At the right time. To the ears that were ready to hear. And when he said, when he said, we, we got to go in. They knew that they were going in and some of them were going to be killed. But they went in with it. No soldier gives their best if they are not convinced the cause is right. I said it today. If you're not convinced that living for Christ is right, Man. you're wasting time sitting up in here. Man. You hear me? Yeah. You're wasting time sitting up in here if you're not convinced that living for Christ huh, is right. No. 
that the cause is right. For many, that was the difference between World War II and Vietnam. In closing, the Christians must prepare for battle daily. Every day you ought to be prepared for battle. Why? Why? Hallelujah. Why? Because the enemy is always on the attack. Enemy is always on the attack. He's always ready to tear you down. Take you out. Rob, steal, and kill. Ain't that what the word say? Yes. So you got to be ready for him daily. Yes. That means the Bible pre 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 presents us with what? A daily what? Bread. bread. Huh? Bread. So we need to eat that bread daily. The bread Amen. of the word. We need to eat it daily. Amen. By studying our manual, which is the Bible. Yes. Yes. Huh? Yes. Amen. By prayer that brings the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Huh? By trusting God's directions and instructions for battle in the enemy. You've got to prepare yourself. Yes. Make preparation. In closing, we prepare for a whole lot of things, don't we? Mm -hmm. We all had to prepare for a film the other day. Yeah. We prepare for vacations. Woo! Yes. I'll tell you what now. I ain't going to be able to go to service uh, this week because I'm going on vacation. It's fine to go on vacation. But when you go on vacation, find yourself in church. If you have to be out there on a Sunday, go to church somewhere. Amen. It ain't going to work a couple of hours out of that day. Amen. Go yourself to church somewhere. Amen. Still give God his time. Amen. Huh? Yes. When he say 10%, I mean, that's of everything. Your money, your time, you know, everything.